welcome to another video. We are in southern Snowdonia today, guys. A place called the uh, Craigenan Lakes. I'm joined by Simon as usual. Daz and Andy from the Beauty Brothers while camping. What we're going to do today, guys, is um, take a little hike up to that mountain there. And then, hopefully, set up camp in those trees. Going to be doing hammer camping today. First time we've done it, so we'll give that a go. Right, let's make tracks. Slowly making our way up now. There's Casab Idris over there. And there's the uh, Craigenan Lakes. And that's where we parked the, the van over there. And over there is the trees where we're going to set up the hammocks later. So that'll be interesting. Never done that before. Daz and uh, Andy are lending a couple of hammocks, so just to see if we like it basically. And if we do, then we'll probably get our, our own. So, yeah, looking forward to this. It's not too bad, is it?
another little hill ticked off the list we're gonna make our way back down now and uh get all the gear um Daz and Andy are gonna have kindly let us uh, a couple of hammocks and they're gonna set them up for us and uh, we're gonna try a bit of uh, hammock camping so uh, yeah it should be uh something different new something new for us so it should be good fun just packed the van up now and it's hammock time that's where we're heading that clump of trees over there looking forward to this so we're going to be swinging through the trees tonight More of you, that is. Well, this time, get your hammock set up. Oh, son, give me a push. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's Andy in his hammock. He's all set up. He's had 40 winks now, I reckon. Yeah. I'm not fully set up, I'm going to put the bug net up at some point. Just As you can tell, I'm pretty new to all this, I've never seen one of these before. Yeah. It's kind of a bit of a stretch from that tree to that, but... Yeah. I've just looped that, um, the tree hugger through itself to get a bit of extra length. Yeah. The, the guys tell us that uh, it's not the best place for hammers because it's too, it's too much of a slope. It's more suited to the flatter ground, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. That's right, Andy, isn't it? Uh, Daz, it's, it's uh, more suited to, you should have, like, flatter ground. It's, it's, it's better for, like, when you've got your gear like, knocking about and you want to cook and things, it's better if you've got a bit of level ground. Yeah. The beauty of hammocks is you don't need level ground. Yeah, true. It's just more convenient to have some. Yeah. Getting um, in and out and stuff, I expect, as well, Get is in it? in and out, yeah, because Obviously, if you're higher up here, you're lower down there. Mm. So you can you do your setup, you've got to kind of accommodate for that. And it'll be a little higher because you've got the um, the undercoat to go on, you don't want that touching the ground. Yeah, true, yeah. So really, the lucky thing you've got to do is pull that tail through and it tightens on itself. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So basically, if you, you can sit in there like this with the bug net, bug net side down. Mm. Obviously, you flip it over, put in the spread of poles, and then you attach um, some bungee cords to some pressure loops on the top. Yeah. That'll just hold your bug net up off you. That's tidy. So we're not going to use tarps tonight, no? Not tonight, no. It's not going to rain, is it? So, no, well, it's not rain. forecast to rain, but. We can soon put a tarp onto this if we do get some bad weather. I can't see it. Well, to me, it's going to be good. This because just have a bit of air coming. It's you know it is yeah. warm, so we'll have a bit of bit of air. Just you know, coming past my head when I'm sleeping. Nice one. Huh? You've got a lot of things to say, though. Yeah. Bug that open and it's done. Yeah. Yeah. So they just slot through these. Do you think they'll be, be sold on hammock camping after this night then, Dad? Uh, only you can decide that, really. Uh, it's, yeah. it's not for everyone. You know? I like it. Yeah. I'll try anything once. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, why not? You've got the opportunity, so. Yeah. Something different, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So I didn't know what it was like till I bought my hammock and no one loved it. Yeah. So this is like a, a try before you buy sort of exercise. So if we yeah. 
if we like it. If we enjoy it, then we'll buy it. We'll be, yeah, be tempted to buy it, I think. Or we'll let you know tomorrow morning when we wake up. Or if we're on the floor. <laughs> no, I don't want to be on the floor. Oh. He's the same, it's come, come with two hanging, hanging pockets here. Oh, cool. Well, you can, I think it's on the other side. There's a um, double layer. Yeah. So you can fit a sleeping pad in between. Oh, if right. If you wanted. Yeah. Um, I don't bother with that usually. I don't think you need that, you. Really. I don't think I'd, I'd need it, I don't think. Oh, this is awesome, isn't it? I would always re recommend leaving the bug net zipped up. Mm. You don't want any beasts getting in. No, no. Oh, well, that's the same well, you want to try it out, just um, maybe best going from the other side. Just want to try it out, Mark? So this is the XL one, the other one's a little bit shorter. Yeah. Who's having what, son? I don't mind. You have that one, I'll have sort of one, whatever. Right. Get in there. Pull over the back under your back of your knees and just trust it and sit down in it. I'm already sold, Dad. This is mad. Go on, cut the cords on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mark, I think it's the future. This is the future. I'll just this side open. Just took things so I don't lose them. I'll just I'll tell you what, I'll just fall asleep here now. Yeah, Mark. Um, yeah. I think this is made of parachute material. I read somewhere. I think it is. Oh, okay. It's got to be strong, I like, um... That's something you take your always. Yeah, so this is my first time in a hammock. Um, gotta be fair, really impressed with this. So comfortable. I'm liking it. Another good thing about not having a tap is uh, we'll actually be sleeping under the stars tonight, which is something I've always wanted to do. So. Uh, There's not any rain forecast. It's still warm, so I think the temperature tonight's going to get down to about um, 10 degrees, 9 degrees, something like that, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Welcome back to the camp. No. There's Daz. Just chilling. And he's in his hammock, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so is Simon. Just having a few beers now. We're going to cook some food shortly. Look at that spit. <laughs> Danny. Yeah, we'll bring you back in a bit. <laughs> bring you back in a bit. <laughs> <sighs> the only thing is, lying here just makes you want to go to sleep. Listen to your voice makes me want to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so relaxing. So awesome. Got the old jet boil on the go. Nothing fancy from me, just a. Uh, what should we see there? Summit to eat. Chicken tikka with rice. 
so uh, so yeah um, Mark's doing a steak or steak and mushrooms and what are you doing a Philly a Philly cheese I can't even talk properly a Philly cheese tea so you see what I've got nothing fancy so check his food out then Cheese steaks. You might get a Mexican star for this. Don't reckon. Just slice this now. Fruit butter. What you do? Bit of steak in there. You are one now, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> do, do me, but. I'm gonna get a job in subways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon? Looks nice, huh? Have a go with it, you know, then. <laughs> I'll drop it on the floor now. It's about half five now, I just uh, woke up. Yeah, but that's what the hammock started. And Dad said, like, um, it's, not a, it's not a perfect place for the a hammock camp because there's there's four hammocks there we gotta try and you gotta have enough space between the trees etc more so with the tarp we never use a tarp but um because we knew it wasn't gonna rain anyway but and he said it's, it's on a bit of a slope and he said to me that um it's just a little bit hard or, or hard you know hard to get in and out like the, the hammock so I didn't find a problem, I thought, I thought it was good, so, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. Brilliant night's sleep as well, so, uh, definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Daz and Andy prefer their woodland hammock camping. Um, we prefer um, mountains and lake camping, heads of lake camping. Um, so yeah, it's worked out. It's worked out really well. We've had the um, best of both worlds, like so. Uh, yeah, maybe in the future, um, forming a friendship with these guys, cracking blokes, like you know. And then hopefully we can do a uh, another hammock camp or some tent camping in the future. Oh, gotta be fair. What an awesome night's sleep I was. I'll tell you what, if you've never tried hammer camping before, get on it. Highly recommend it, I do. It's awesome. So comfortable. There's Daz. I tell you what, I could lie here all day. Awesome. Got the bug net there. And I tell you what, we need that. There's midges everywhere. There's your little um, pouch there to put all your lights in and your phone or whatever. 
Hammer camping is the future. You just can't beat this. Lying round. Look at that. Sun beating down on me. I don't want to leave. Stay here all day. No problem. This is a life. Just give you an update on uh, what's happening here. Um, we're all making a brew. Daz's hammock is half down. He's making a start on putting stuff away. And he's done the same. We're just lazy. We, well, we haven't got a clue how to take it down anyway, so I was just still up. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're just going to make uh, make tracks about 11 o'clock. We're just going to pack up nice and slowly you now and just chill out and you know, just have a laser on for a bit. Then uh, we'll be heading back. Welcome back, guys. All packed up now. As usual, leave no trace. Leave the place as we find it. Yeah, awesome camp that was. Thanks to... Daz and Andy, check out their channel. I'll um, leave a link in the description below. So yeah, give them a subscribe. See you on the next camp. Bye for now.